I guess uh, just talk about after uh, being a week, week and a half through uh, practice, fall practice, uh, what you guys have worked on and kind of what you're gearing towards for the uh, first match of the season on uh, August 27th. Okay, well, um, I think everybody, both the coaches and players, are very excited about how this year is starting out. Um, we have a great intensity and in gym culture in the gym. Um, I think one of the main focuses has been on counterattack and defense because that was something, you know, that we got really good at towards the end of last year but it maybe started out a little bit not as good. And so I think we're definitely strengthening those areas for our first game. And then uh, just um, the commitment that, you're t that you guys put forward uh, during the summer. Um, you know, you arrived a little bit early in front of fall practice. Uh, most of the players are there. In fact, 13 of the 14 practiced at some point in the summer before fall practice started. Just talk about what that commitment does to kind of help uh, be the, have the team be further along when fall practice started. Well, I definitely think it helped our skill set and our leadership as far as we had intense captain's practices, and it was great to be, like, lifting together also so we are all on the same page. But I also think it really helped our chemistry and, you know, just getting to know everybody on a little bit more personal level before fall camp actually started. You came in here, obviously, uh, as a highly touted uh, freshman last year. And um, as the year went along, I think you got more and more comfortable, you know, with some of the demands that were being put on you offensively. Just talk about the adjustments you made and uh, really how satisfying it was to kind of have the end of the year that you did as you kind of came on stronger as things progressed. I definitely think um, I'm a different player at the beginning of this year than I was at the beginning of last year. Um, definitely a wider skill base, but also just like a lot more confidence. And I think the end of last year had a lot to do with that. Um, it's great to go to the Final Four, a great experience. And to know that I have that under my belt now, go, it makes this year a lot easier. You know, We know what it takes to go far, and that, that is a very big confidence booster for me. Um, I guess just talk about uh, just just uh, the team uh, having the way things ended last year. You know, obviously, you guys get to the Final Four, accomplish a major goal, um, and then you play Texas, and probably not as satisfied as you would have liked to have been with the performance. Talk about how hungry you guys were after that match and kind of how it's fueled you throughout the uh, spring season and uh, into the summer and coming into fall practice. I think, yeah, I definitely think we were we were very happy to get to the Final Four, but we all saw the game against Texas as a huge letdown. You know, we didn't come together as a team and really take advantage of that opportunity. Irrelevant if we would have won or lost that game, I think we didn't put our best foot forward. And so um, we we're definitely very hungry to go back. We, I know we have more talent, I believe, than last year, and I think we have a great like core as far as the players that were there last year. You know, that leadership, that hard work is all there. These freshmen have been like dominating. They're awesome. Um, and I think everybody's really excited, really hungry to get started and all, go all the way back this year. And kind of follow up on that, some of the newcomers, um, obviously uh, Stephanie Nucci, um, Steffi Suter, uh, Ashley Whitman, and Tori Dixon. Talk about what you've seen out of those four, you know, in the gym and uh, just kind of some of your impressions. I think they're awesome. Um, I, I think a big transition from last year was that it's just we have a much more competitive gym. Um, we have huge front row like, for blocks on both sides. You know, the, the DSs and Libreros are getting a lot of work because we have people that are hitting the ball hard consistently. Um, I think it makes like positional players, you know, it really makes us work hard and it's telling us that, you know, nothing's guaranteed, you know, we, we're going to switch up the lineup a lot and I think we're really going to have to work this year for who's going to play, so that's really good. I guess uh, talk about the experience you had this summer. Uh, you obviously had a chance for a few weeks to train with the Canadian national team. Um, what, did, what did you kind of get out of that experience? I know you've kind of uh, played internationally, um, you know, coming up in, in high school too, but uh, just talk about what you get out of that experience kind of heading into this year. Uh, I had a really good experience with Team Canada this summer. It gave me a chance to, to go into the camp. I was feeling pretty fresh because it's spring season. I was coming off an injury, but I had had a lot of work done, and I got to play with some great players, and the competition was really good, and I think it gave me a little bit more confidence knowing that I had done that in the summer, and I had played at an elite level and trained for that hard. So I think it really also added to my confidence coming into fall camp. And what, what are some of the things, I know you kind of touched on this earlier, but what do you kind of take out of last year? What lessons did you learn and what, what do you kind of bring from your first year of experience into the second year uh, that kind of helps you improve as a player? Um, I definitely think that one of the biggest things I learned was hard work beats talent. And, 
you know, you're going to play the most talented teams, but as long as you're working as hard as you can, there's no reason why you can't beat them. And I think that's one of the major mindsets we have to have going into this year because we are a very athletic team, but there are people saying there are going to be more athletic teams out there, so we have to prove it through our hard work and our efforts that we can beat all those teams out there. I guess finally, just talk about the excitement level in the gym right now. I mean, you guys are about a week and a half away from starting the 2010 season. Obviously, a lot of preparation to kind of gear up for it. Just talk about the excitement of finally getting it started. I think there's a lot of excitement. Um, we just had a scrimmage on Sunday, and we have one more on the 24th before finally having our first tournament here. And I think everybody is super excited to get all suited up, put on that jersey for the first time, and come out and play in front of everybody.